There have been several embarrassing moments over a period of uh, almost 40 years of broadcasting. Uh, one I remember from my days doing NFL games for CBS with Hank Stram. We had a telecast from Green Bay, Wisconsin the last week in November in 1993 between Tampa Bay and Green Bay. And the weather was very threatening the day before. As a matter of fact, Hank arranged for us to get very expensive CBS parkas to wear on camera for the one and a half minutes of time that we spent on camera before the game. Uh, they were 300 or 400 dollars at that time, which was, you know, a lot of money to spend on parkas. And they had to airlift them in, uh, air freight them overnight so that we would have them. And then on Sunday, the day dawned 55 degrees and sunny. And so they were not necessary at all, but I still have the parka, and so does Hank. But we had an open that day that dealt with the various shoes. Hank wanted to talk about the shoes that the Tampa Bay players were going to wear to try to compensate for the either soggy or frozen ground in Green Bay. They had three or four different pairs of shoes that they had there, and they would wear them according to the circumstances. We rehearsed this, and it took about 45 seconds. Now, during the 45 seconds that Hank spoke, I was to leave our on-camera position, put on my headset, the coin toss was taking place at that very time, and get set for the opening kickoff of the game. We went directly from one to the other. Hank shortened it up when we were on the air live from 45 seconds to 10 seconds. I did not have time to even get my headsets on, so there was fumbling around to do that. The coin toss had taken place. I was unaware who had won the toss, what they had decided to do. I had the wrong team kicking off, the wrong player receiving. It was a mess and a real hit to my credibility, but I apologized and we went on from there.